and to Niger, where the efforts of the state government in combating insecurity and positioning the state for economic growth is yielding results and attracting foreign direct investment. Governor Abubakar Sanibelo stated this while receiving an agricultural and establishing a tricycle assembly plant in Mina, the state capital. Over 9 million hectares of arable land yet to be exploited for agriculture. Niger State is a potential destination for agribusinesses with the prospect of ending food insecurity in Nigeria. However, low investment in the agriculture sector has set a limit on agricultural development in the state, coupled with the recent attacks in some local government areas. With recent measures put in place by the state government to curb insecurity and open the state up for investment, the state is now regaining the confidence of investors. An engineering firm in partnership with the South Korean government says it has selected Niger State as one of 12 states in the country with comparative advantage in agriculture to benefit from its $3.2 billion investment in production of tricycles and trucks for transportation of agricultural produce. The executive chairman of the company and some members of his team paid a courtesy call on the governor of Niger State to intimate him of their plans. Putting back on a backward integration, the employment is endless. There are no deprivatives. Employment that is going to give to the indigenous and the it's a long chain of advantages. There are no deprivatives at all. I'm sure you know Niger State is the largest state in Nigeria in terms of land mass. And the people around here, all they do is farm. Unfortunately, uh, some local governments have been uh, bedeviled by uh, banditry activities that has reduced uh, farming activities. <coughs> But again, the state and federal government, in conjunction with security agencies, have in the last few weeks sustained uh, effective operations. And I think normalcy is coming back gradually. The group said inspection of the proposed sites have been completed and operations will commence soon, noting that the assembly plant has the capacity to create direct and indirect job opportunities for about 5,000 people in the state. The group says part of what it plans to do strategically to boost economic activities in Niger State is to employ locals in running its plant, thereby reducing the number of expatriates that will be brought in. Chanameba Mei, TVC News.